Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. We are back over here on Extinction today. I want to try out the Mantis that we tamed in the last video against some of the Element Veins. Well, I mean, we won't be doing the Element Veins with him. We'll be harvesting the ones afterwards whenever we're done with it. Using the picks on him, I think it should be better than doing it by hand. We'll have to kind of judge and see. And then we got our Argentavis that we bred a couple videos ago to use as our hauler. Dude's over there. The only thing is... We didn't put any points into him, so his weight is kind of low, but it should be better than trying to haul it all back by hand. I did quite a bit of work around here, got stuff sorted out. I've got the grinder changed over to S+. I've got our storage finally, like, 95% sorted. This one is nothing but the cannon shells for the mech. That's the only thing that's going to be going into here. We get a lot of them from loot, and then it's just easier to stock him up whenever we come back. I'll be getting rid of that cloning chamber, probably in this one. We'll go ahead and pick it up, get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. And this is actually two of the containers that we had full of loot. This is all that we got left. A lot of this stuff I do want to keep and kind of need to sort out a little bit more. But dude, I ran so much stuff through the grinder and we got resources like crazy. Also, I found my tech suit. Fairly decent stats on it. I guess it's one of the ones I made up from some of the blueprints. Seems how the armor rating is pretty high on them. I'm going to hate to see the repair bill when we have to do that. But I think we might as well wear that today in case we do got to walk back. We can use the, the tech suit to help out. I got to change over that steel to S+. Plus. I didn't feel like dealing with the piping, so we just kind of left it. And then I need to do the grill. That's got a whole bunch of stuff in it selling to convert. Not too much. A little bit of the building parts that we have looted. And then that's the pick we'll be using for the Mantis. And this is our enforcer. So I want to use him on the element veins since they're a little bit easier. And he's got pretty decent damage. He does a boosted damage against the corrupted. And I think we have everything that we need for today, right? Maybe... Oh, I don't have any shotgun shells. I was going to take one of the shotguns. Can we make those in here? We could. Oh, I need simple bullets. Let's do... 200 of those real quick. That should make it up. Oh, yeah, super fast. And then we'll set this to run. And we'll run out and grab whichever shotgun we have that has the highest damage on it. I'm not sure if we'll need it, but the Enforcer doesn't do too well with, uh, with stuff that's up in the air, right? Let's see. I think they're over here. Everything's kind of changed around now. So what do we have for our highest damage? We've got a 242. Let's take that one. That should work for now. It's, <laughs> it's not very high, but I mean, it'll work. 66. I mean, that'll be fine. It's, it's better than nothing, right? And one thing I want to do whenever we come back is, seeing how we have the turrets up top, I really need to turn them on because there's stuff that keeps coming up by the fence. We might change those over to tech turrets. Seeing how we got so many shards here, I think it's like 29,000 shards we got or something like that. 26,000. So that is more than enough, and I've never used the tech turrets. That was kind of before, before I had them unlocked whenever we were over here. And I don't think having those on the roof are very good, so maybe we'll set them down here on the ground. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out. But I keep getting attacked by those... They're defenders, right? The little roly-poly things. You do got some levels. Oh, I mean, he's got nine. It's like 1,100 in his weight, so that's not too bad. All right, so I'm going to go around, and let's... I'm sorry. Let's head back. I want to grab a Rex just in case the Enforcer doesn't work out. Like I said, I'm, I know the Enforcer will work on the medium-sized ones if we find one of the Tier 3 ones. I don't want to use a Giga because he'll tear up all the stuff. Just take two of those. I will take one. We'll take one. I don't want to use it, though. It'll tear up all this, all the uh, the element around. It kind of defeats the purpose. But let me find one of the veins, and then we will get started. Got another point already, man. I like it. Well, didn't have to go very far. This is where we did that red drop pod the other day. I was going to start here and work my way around the map to check all these spawn locations. And yeah, this is a tier one. We're not going to do it because they take forever to do. Oh, and it's a tier three one. I've never done one of these, so I don't know if the dragon spawn on this one or what. I mean, we could try it. I don't know how much we're going to have left. Let's get up here. We'll put this guy in a soul trap and get out our enforcer. Kind of see how it goes. I mean, we might as well test it out. <laughs> Not really losing anything. Well, I mean, we might lose. We might lose something. We might lose ourselves. What have you got in you? I think you're empty, right? You are. And I didn't bring any food for this guy. He eats element shards. So that's going to be a thing. Tell you what, let's get these out so we can access them. 
Oh, man, I hope this goes good. All right, let's get up here. We need to throw these spike walls out, like, super fast. Just around the middle column here. And that way, it should protect it from, like, dillos and stuff like that. I don't know if we can get these out quick enough. It usually starts pretty fast on these versus the drop pods. Oh, yeah, see, there it goes. So we'll try it with the Enforcer. If anything, we can throw out the Rex. And if there's dragons on this one, we might be just in bad shape. Oh, dude, they're already coming. Holy crap, man, they're already coming. So I don't like using the S-plus ones because they clip together. These you can kind of just set out yourself. And the Enforcer has that side strafe, which is so nice, man. All right, I fully expect to die doing this and losing everything. It's, yeah, it's a very real possibility. He does have his blink feature, though, so we should be able to get in between the dinos and waves a little bit easier. Okay. At least they're not level 300 like the drop pods are. I think they're lower level on the element veins. I think. I don't know for sure. Like I said, it's been a very long time. It's going to be interesting, though, to see how these work out with the tier 3 one and how much element we'll get out of it. Is that... Is that it? Oh, dude! Well, that was like three creatures on that one. We got a we got a trike scaling them over there. All right, so we got some parasurs over there. Oh, dude, we got spinos and everything. I should have known. It's probably the same creatures that are on the drop pods, but they're lower level though. That's not too bad. Well, I mean, it is bad, right? But <laughs> at least they're not such high level. Oh, I need to turn off. that. Dude's getting overweight from all the stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's drop everything, man. Drop everything. We don't need you overweight. So that's the thing, too. We can't heal this guy up. So, whatever health he has, I mean, that's what he's got throughout this whole thing. Oh, dude, there is stuff all up on the, the middle column already. I think that's all we're gonna have left is the middle column. I highly doubt we're gonna be able to protect all of this stuff out here. I mean, we're sure gonna try. <laughs> it's definitely interesting. I've never attempted this one, so. I kinda wanna throw out our Rex, but dude, they're gonna tear everything up. And we just need to not aggro regular creatures because of the reduced damage. You only get a bonus towards corrupted stuff, right? All right, how we looking? <gasps> we're out of stamina. All right, get your stamina back, buddy. Get your breath. We gotta go, man. We are not going to have enough spike walls. I'm just saying. Call on it now. We might lose this whole vein. Oh, it might not be worth it. All right. Let's get these out. Gas bag, buddy. I need your help, man. <laughs> I need you to run blocker for some of these wrecks. I think that's the only ones they broke through, right? It is. Alright, so you got a Stego over there. We got some Rex up here. Or not Rex, but Spinos. Dude, there's stuff all the way up here. Holy crap. It's a lot of element. I mean, potentially a lot of element. Yeah, we're going to be running through food so fast on this guy. Where's that other Spino? There's him. Alright, we have really got to watch our stamina. Because if our health gets any lower, it's going to start slowing down our stamina regen. So this is only 2 of 5, right? I don't want to hit the regular Stego. We got dragons! Oh, dude, we got dragons! I'm not sure how I'm gonna kill those. I can't reach them. Come down to my level. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't mean like I didn't mean with the with the fire breath. I meant like if you just come down to my level. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, we might have to get the Rex out, man. Oh, 
Oh, dude, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose our enforcer. Pick him up. Where is our Rex? Get on the Rex. Get on the Rex. Okay. 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 I got in over my head on this one. We are. Yep. Okay. I, I really don't want to have to get the Giga out. That might be a, a big possibility, though. Dude, we almost lost our uh, our enforcer. It has a good enforcer, too. It's like a level 140 or 150, I think, blueprint I had him from. All right, now we can take out everything, at least. Buddy. Buddy, I need you to, I need you to not heat my element up. Dude! Here we go, there's one down. Let's see if we can drag him away from the center column there. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. We're uh we're tearing up our element. That's a sneaky stego, man. <laughs> that little dude got right by me. Okay, let's get out here, take out these dudes. I know we got a point available, we'll do it whenever we're in between waves. I'm gonna have to put out some more of our spike walls. I think we only got a couple left anyways, right? Oh, dude, I got in over my head on this one. I wonder if there's a legendary version of this, like the purple drop pods? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, well, that one's gone. Totally destroyed it. All right, guys, I'm gonna need you to refrain from tearing up my element, please. Okay, let's do... I mean, damage, of course, right? All right, let's get up here. Throw out a couple more spike walls. We don't have long until the next wave starts. There's a Spino back there. That's kind of good. He's sitting there chilling. I think that was in the right spot. I'm not too sure. How many walls we got left? 15. Okay, I kind of want to hold on to them. How are you looking? Oh, not too bad. Oh, we're not even lost a thousand on it. I wonder if we should do some more... Nah, it's because they do some more work while this one's stuck here. There we go. Okay, that is still disabled. Oh, man, I don't know. We still got a couple waves left, and we still got a lot of element left, though. That's the main thing that's it's kind of a good thing, right? All right, let's get you over here, man. Stay off of that. I wish it'd come and just aggro me. one little element node out here, man. He's like, <laughs> he's like holding the line. Ah, right, we still look to be doing okay over there. Junior. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, they're all up on my stuff. The Giga just has so much more damage, which is a good thing, but a bad thing, right? 4,000 on his damage, but... I mean, he'd be tearing all of this element up around here. Oh, right, there we go. Just like that. <laughs> we gotta get rid of these dragons, man. Like, every time I get near them, they fly off. There we go. That was a low-level one. Got a big hole right there we need to patch up. 
I think the Carnos do the worst damage on our spike walls, to be honest with you. All right, we need to circle around and get that last dragon real quick. I think that might be almost done with this wave, though, which is a good thing. All right, I see that Piercer back there. I want to kill this Wyvern. We'll throw out our spikes and go back there and then take out that last one. Or maybe it's a Rex. I don't know what it is back there. All right, let's get our spike walls out. It's pretty much just to slow stuff down, right? It's not going to definitely keep them. I mean, I could do like three or four layers, but... I mean, really, when are you going to have time to set all that up? All right, buddy. We got a shake and bake over here. I mean, his health is holding up. He's got that really good saddle and stuff, too, so... You coming for me? I mean, he's, like, literally coming for me. There we go. <laughs> One bite. Oh, there's a Spino, too. I thought I saw a Spino. All right, let's put your point into that. We're still looking good on everything. All right, we've only lost 3,000. Well, 2,500. So we got this one and one more. And then we'll see how our element is. Oh, we got double Spinos. Man, that Spinos come in hot, don't they? Dude's like on a mission. I'll take out this last Spino, and then we'll double back and take out the ones that just came in from the behind us over here. Oh, dude, they went right for the middle. Oh, I forgot. All that stuff's gone from right there. You guys need to change your diet. I'm just saying, Element, it's not good for you in the long run. Not an expert. It's my professional opinion. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. At least there's no dragons on this run. <laughs> They're so hard to get to, right? Dude, you're like scaling it. It's gonna make it difficult. Oh, he's a... He's a climber. Alright, I might as well just do the rounds around the outside now. Oh, there's so much stuff up in that corner. Seems a little bit easier than... Well, okay, I'm not going to say that. We still, got <laughs> we still got one and a half levels. I was going to say. Seems a little bit easier than doing the drop pods. Which is nice when you're solo, right? We're getting a ton of levels. The Tech Rex has gotten, what, three, four levels since we've been doing this? All right, guys. All right. All right. Let's clean this out, man. Let's, cl let's clean the guys up a little bit. It's like Steko Central over here. All right. While they're occupied, let's do this. And we were set for the last level. And we'll do a couple more right over here. Because that's where they always come into. Ah, oh, man, really wish I would have brought more. Like I said, I didn't think we are going to be doing the, the high tier one. It's like a party over here. Pariser party. I didn't get an invite. Kind of hurt my feelings, man. Well, oh, there goes that one element node. All right, let's put our point into a little bit more damage. Final wave, man. Not too bad. So far, I'm pretty happy with the progress and outcome. But, again, we'll see what happens at the end. Here's some more dragons. Fantastic. And we are looking at 46,000 out of 50,000. So we're doing we're doing fairly well. All that's going to affect how much we get, right? In the end. Okay, we're not, we're not getting anybody over here. There we go. That's what I was going for. We'll just go here and try to try to take all these guys out. Maybe get some of these dragons in the process. Okay. 
Haven't seen any raid strikes. I haven't said nothing about it, but I've been kind of worried. It's been in the back of my head. We might end up encountering some. Oh, we got hit with a gas bag, I think. Little icon down there saying we're uh, suffocating. And I can't remember, does a tech su suit work for radiation? I don't use tech suits, like, ever, hardly. I was thinking about using it a little bit more. Somebody left me a comment and brought up about, you know, being able to carry things, because I keep getting overweight. Using a tech suit, I don't like the tech suit because of the backpack. I hate the, the boosted jump, how you can't turn it off. I guess I could just run it out of element and just not refill it. All right, all right, guys. I don't want to lose this on the last wave, dude. I would be so sad. <laughs> we make it all the way to the end and then end up losing it. I mean, all we got to do is protect that middle column. So we'll have to see. I'll have to kind of do one of maybe the medium tier ones off camera and see how much element I get from that and judge with how much we get from this one. Just to see if it's worth it to do these versus the other one. Because a lot more gets destroyed on this one. I know that. I hardly lose any of them. Oh my gosh, we are out of stamina? Alright, buddy. Get your, get your breath, man. Get your breath. We got a lot of stuff to do here. Let's put this into damage again. So we got like four things to take out. Five things. Let's back it up. Back it up, man. Yep. Oh, <laughs> that's what I was trying to avoid. Oh, man. I was trying to save that one. It looked like it was a big one, too. All right. Last thing over here, man. And the element is ours. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, dude. Fantastic. So let's see what we have in here. Anything we want to keep, we would definitely want to keep those and those. Ooh, another shotgun. 120% only, but that's fine. And we'll keep these and that. I think the animal parts, like I said, we need. Oh, we need all the hearts, too. I definitely need to make one of the things for the hearts. All right, we'll leave him out while we're doing some harvesting. Let's go ahead and throw... Oh, we need you out for sure. And then we need you out all right let's throw this stuff into here we might not have enough weight to carry everything but we'll see oh you got some more points okay cool that should be good give you this yeah <laughs> oh, dude it's only one hit with this guy so don't forget, we got like 460 on our pick, plus whatever damage that we got with the Mantis. That's cool that you can actually use them, though. I was kind of worried because I know you can't use a Dodic or Anki for this. It kind of just destroys them without getting anything. Is that a dragon? Oh, boy, I tell you what, it was a Pterodon. Thought it was a dragon. So we got two points. Let's put it into, I guess, damage. I mean, we got 51 sheets already. So a normal boss fight and Alpha you usually get, what, between two and 300 sheets? Something like that. So that's my kind of... My set point for if this is better than a boss fight. I think it is because it's super simple. You're not breeding all those dinos. And we should be able to do this... Easy with the transfer, right? Oh, nice, man. Nice. All right, tell you what. Let me get all this kind of sorted out here. Get it all harvested. And then we'll do a final count on the sheets mainly. And see how much we get from it. But I'm kind of curious what we'll get from that middle one. We've got to do that one last. If you destroy that one first, <laughs> it gets rid of all these. I've learned that the hard way in the past. All right, so I think that's it. As far as the ones that are around. Let's go ahead, deposit everything into the bird. And we'll see how much this middle column gives us. I want to grab the actual sheets out right now. So right now we're sitting at 154 from all the ones around the outside. 
Holy crap, look at all that element, dude! One, wait, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred and forty-three sheets out of that. And then we've got a good little bit of dust, not too much. Let's see how much is in the bird. I know on the lower level ones you get, a, yeah, a ton of dust. So that will definitely convert over into probably shards. And we got 363. So we got about 2,000 on the shards. That's not too bad. But dude, oh man, that is so much more than doing a boss. It's like doing two or three boss battles. Not bad, man, not bad. All right, so how's your weight? Can we take you back? Oh, you are totally full. Let's... How should we do this? Let's go ahead and... Let's do that. Oh, you're full too. Well, you're not too full. How much are you with us on? We're kind of slow. We're not far from base. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and pick up the Rex. I think we got everything out of him, right? I'm not worried about the angler gel or the polymer. I mean, that's, as you can see, super simple to get. And then I'll come back for those. We need to remove these anyways for... The next one to respawn. Yeah, these are all going to be damaged, so I just need to bust them up, and then I'll keep the resources and recycle them and make some more. Cool! Let's get back to base, and maybe we'll see about making some of those tech turrets real quick, if we have everything. And get those set out, since we have so many shards, it'll kind of protect the base. Like I said, I need to figure out where to put them. But dude, that was definitely a success, man. Holy crap, man. Let's not fall down here. <laughs> get anybody killed. Gotta watch out for those raptors. So we're almost back at base. It has been quite the long run. I'm glad we found that one so close because otherwise, dude, I tell you what, getting all the way back here. So I think what we'll do is I need to set up some type of platform. Oh, please don't tell me you're coming this way, man. All I've got is two picks and I don't want it. Well, I'll just go ahead and take them out. Okay. <laughs> I was worried. I was worried about him doing something to us. But, I think we'll have to set some little platforms out for the turrets. What I'm thinking is... Probably just setting it like... One right here. And that should cover this whole front. And then do... Same thing back here. One on this back corner. I think that should reach all the way around the front. We might have to do six. I just don't want any more problems. I've noticed a lot of our structure... Some of the fences and stuff are damaged. And I don't know why. And even some of the railings up top. Not sure how that worked out. But some of those are damaged as well. Make sure he makes it in. And let's go ahead and jump on you. And get you to land. You are way overweight. I need to... There we go. I need to turn this on so the dinos can just touch it and unload. There we go. Totally forgot he was on follow. All right, buddy, you're being you're being a little bit difficult here. And that's that. Oh man, so nice, dude. That is so nice. Let's get rid of this. I tell you what, let's do some stuff here. While we're here, we need to get rid of this guy. Appreciate it. I I I could have handled it. I'm just saying. <laughs> let's pick up some of this stuff too. That was the original one. We didn't need him anymore. And let's pick that up. Oh, dude, nice. So I'll be able to kind of space this guy out some. Move him over. We should be able to keep some of our tech wrecks out and gigas without having to put them in soul traps all the time. And let's take that off while we're in here. I hate the way it looks. And so we should be empty on everything. Except for the meat. And you should be empty. Except for some junk. It is. So we definitely need to get a little bit more weight on him. I think around 2,000 weight should be fine, and he should be pretty well set then. Let's throw this food into the grill. Get that all cooking up. And we'll head up top and take a look at that stuff. Let's leave this in here with the rest of the stuff I need to convert. Throw you into there. Oh, yeah. And so I got the blueprints all sorted out, too. I kind of put them all here. I sorted out through some of them. All those tech ones, man. We kind of need to sort these. You only get so many crafts for each one. But, I mean, as you can see, we've got we've got a ton of them, man. So much. And the main thing, we definitely need to keep this. So, the tech sword. Whenever a Fjordor drops, 
one of the new skins actually goes on that and changes how the sword like its stats and stuff it's the first time they've made a skin that alters the way that a weapon works so it'll be kind of interesting to see what they come up with but i kept one of those we'll, we'll kind of try to get some better ones if we can however let's pick these guys up get rid of them and how full are you oh you got plenty of element plenty of element so what we might end up doing is make a, one of the ammo boxes and put it up here in the middle. I don't know if that's going to reach everything. I'm not too sure how big the area is. We might have to... Might have to make two of them. Or just put some shards in each one. It doesn't really matter. We're not playing PvP, so it's not that big of a thing. Let's see what we need for... Let's do the turrets first. Let's just go ahead and do six. We'll do one at each corner. And we do have enough stuff. Makes me happy. So leave these in here. Convert those as well. Maybe we'll just put this stuff into here. How much junk have we got? Not too much. Do we almost lost our enforcer, man? Holy crap, look at his health. That's all I could think about was jumping off and saving him. <laughs> I do not want to lose him. Because he's pretty good level, right? Wait, or is this the high level one? Oh, that's the 150. Can we make you? Oh, we can! Well, I mean... I always do that. I always do that. Fantastic. Let's compare some stats real quick. So you were 230. And you're 150, okay. I forgot you don't get any extra levels. So that's going to be easier to compare like that. Pretty plain in his colors. Does it tell? Now we'll have to pick this one up too. Ah, oh, tell you what. I'm trying to see the stats on them to compare. So 22 on health. 23 on health. Was a wild one. This is a 142 wild. And then damage is 21, 24, 19 on weight, 19 on weight, 16 on stamina, 23. So this one was better than this one. That was such a waste. Holy, that was a lot of stuff to build that thing too. That's all right. At least we have a spare now in case we need it. We'll definitely have to work on getting him leveled up a little bit. However, let's see. So we're going to need ceilings to put these on. Or foundations? Do we have any foundations made up? We do. Let's convert you. Or maybe I should have converted it so that it stays looking like this. I thought that would protect us from the heat, but it didn't. So what I'm thinking is we'll put that there and one there. So we'll pick up this one. It could convert you to... A regular one? It doesn't. It's going to be just a block. Hmm. Looks a little weird. Alright, so that's on. We just need to... Get some ammo and put in it. And then check the settings on it. I'm hoping this will keep everything away. I did not even need to jump that. He ran right up the side. But I'm hoping it'll keep everything away without causing too much aggro. Maybe I'll put the range on these on short. Just so that it's not pulling stuff from like way over there, right? Because I think they start off on medium. Where's the range? Yeah, medium range. And then we need to change it to wild creatures. It's set for survivors and tame creatures. Alright, so this will be the last one. And I think it says they're all in range of each other. So we should be able to just change these settings on this one and then copy to all of them. So we want to do wild only, low range, medium range, low range. Let's do medium. And then copy settings to all turrets nearby.
Cool. So that should be fine. Let's grab a couple stacks of shards. I'm not sure how much to put in each one. And then we'll drag a creature over and see what kind of happens. I've never, never really messed with them. Apparently you can use those in water as well. I mean, that's kind of cool. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. And we are overweight. Just fine. It's kind of the point of having the tech suit on right now. Tell you what, we'll take the bird around. It'll be a little bit quicker. And we might be able to pick a creature up. Maybe we can find something simple to drag over here. Probably could have left the rest of the foundations and stuff. I don't know if the medium or the short range will reach in between these two. That's why I wanted to leave it on medium. You're not laying there. Oh, that's right. There's that invisible water around here. It's kind of weird. This whole front area. It's one reason why I stopped building where I did. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Invisible water. You can't really build there with normal structures. All right. Last one. And can't land there either. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. There's an enforcer over there. Maybe we'll drag him over this way. There's a seagull too. Tell you what. Yeah, I'd like to see you get destroyed. Come over here, man. Well, never mind. <laughs> he died fairly quick. We'll probably just get the enforcer. Buddy, let me talk to you for a minute. They should start shooting soon, I would think. Oh, dude, those things destroyed that thing. 750, huh? They're like little mini cannons. Ah, oh, dude. Well, not too bad of a day today. We got our first tier three element vein done. I think the mantis worked out fantastically. We've got what, like probably total if we converted all the shards and everything into sheets close to 700 or over for one element vein. Definitely an easy way to get element. I'm going to go ahead and make a lot of that into transferable element and we'll take it back to Lost Island. I might only make up two or three hundred just to do a test. I haven't moved any in between maps yet and make sure it works without us losing it. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.